Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up JavaScript on a Linux machine such as Ubuntu. So first of all make sure you have some sort of text editor, you could use the built-in one. I will be using something called Sublime Text. It is a, I would download the new version later. It is a fantastic editor on any platform. So the next thing you want to do is actually we need this open sorry we can start coding in here so i would say go to i'll upgrade that later as well and so let's go to here actually this will trigger itself when we specify the well, the extension so let's just write some code before that you know what i'm going to do is create a folder and this is folder is going to be called project and on here in here is where we'll place all of our files so what you want to do is save this so go to the project folder that you just created and i'm going to call this index.html and the code that you learn from this series will be used for not just in web-based projects in literally any project that allows you to run javascript even in mobile applications okay so for a HTML doc, you'll need to put a doc type. So doc type HTML. And now we are going to put use the other way around. Let's use the uppercase and use the lowercase. Not that I think he actually matters. But I'm pretty sure that's the standard. And so let's just quickly write up a little little application or little website so we're going to put a head tag again this series and um, this video is not here to you know explain the ins and outs of web development and html or any css we'll be using some basic stuff like that and i'll try and explain it as i go along but again this is a javascript series so i will recommend that you know some basic html css before you have a go at this video Okay, and let's say if we put a body, and you know, in the body, let's just put a h1 tag so we can actually see it so we know that it is actually working. So I'll say hello world, and there's a couple of different ways that you can add JavaScript code. So the one common way is to use something called a script tag, and there are sort of two main places that you generally put this. You either put it in the head tag, and if you put it within the head tag, that means it is run before the rest of the content on your website. If you want it to be run afterwards, you would put it generally here, just before the closing body tag. I'm just gonna place it at the top right here. Again, depending on your website and on your scenario, you might want it in a different location, but it's just a, you know, as simple as moving it. So we can just put script. And that should be enough, but it's also recommended that you put a type and this just tells the web browser what type of code this is. Generally, you don't need it. Web browsers are a lot smarter than they used to be. But just to ensure maximum compatibility, I would just put it. And here is literally where you put your JavaScript code. We're not going to be doing any JavaScript code in this video. That will be reserved for a separate video. This is just a setup stage the other way that you can actually add javascript code is simply by creating a separate file and in that separate file you put all the code that you want and let's do that version as well so i'm going to click Control n create a new file i'm going to save this and i'll just call it custom and instead of a .html extension i'm going to do .js so that means this file can only support JavaScript code. So it can't support HTML or CSS code. So I click save, it's right here. And in here we could write something. And now what we can do is just include the file. We could 
<coughs> sorry about that we could include it before or after the, the script tag it just really depends on is this script tag dependent on what's in that other file or is the file dependent on this if neither then it doesn't matter so it th those are the sort of thing that you need to consider and we just put a script tag we again we put a type of I think you guessed it text for slash JavaScript but instead of putting any code inside of here as we would for this one all we do is put SRC which stands for source and now we specify the location of our JavaScript file add it in the same location as our index.html file all we have to do is put custom.js if this was in a folder called I don't know amazing folder you would put amazing folder forward slash then the file name if I save that now if I just double click it so it runs it in a web browser as you can see hello world has appeared so if I just right click go to just inspect let's just have a look what we've got so we're interested in the head section so we've got an empty you know script tag we've got a custom.js and this is linked now so any code that we put within let me where's the minimize yeah let me just show you so any code you put in here let me extend this out a second there we go any code that you put inside here will get run any code that you put inside of the custom.js file will also get run as well it's generally recommended that you put it within separate files you can have multiple files depending on what the code is doing and as you develop more complex websites and applications you will use other libraries and frameworks that other people have created a lot of them will be free and open source and they'll have javascript files which you'll include in a similar fashion to this but that's it really for setting up javascript once you've done it on you know this platform you can literally just copy this onto another system whether it's linux or not ubuntu or not whether it's windows mac it doesn't matter it will just run it's the code and the setup is not specific to a particular platform so that's it for this video thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next part